just making the act of making that list has shifted my whole life. Hey guys, it's Maggie from Mighty Girl, and I want to talk to you guys about life lists, or bucket lists, whatever you call them. I call mine my Mighty Life List, and I made mine about a year and a half ago, and I decided that I wanted to do a hundred things, which is a lot of things as it turns out. If you sit down to write down a hundred things you want to do before you die, it's going to take some time, I found. So um, I made my list about a year ago, like I said, and I posted it on my site, which felt um, ballsy at the time. It felt made me feel really vulnerable. And then about a year and a half later, Intel decided to sponsor my life list, which was life changing for me because there's one thing to make a list and another thing to sign a contract that says you're gonna do 10 things in three months. I'm so excited to be a part of this conversation, Maggie, um, because it's with a lot of uh, interest and intrigue that I've been following you um, do the things on your life list and watching them unfold on your site. You know, I've never formally written down a life list like you have. I. Uh, I've always had one in the back of my head. Like there's certain things that I think about and I'm like, ugh, that'd be something cool to do before I die. So I love that you've given us all permission to kind of write down uh, our life lists. It's a really interesting exercise creating a life list and I will admit that I have tried uh, to follow your example and I started to and I wrote seven things and then I became so depressed that I couldn't think of anything that I ran away. I think there's an illusion you get when you're seeing people's lists that it's so easy for them. Like, look, they got 100 things or they have 50 things. Look how easy it is to figure these things out. I'm so glad that we're doing this topic because I've been meaning to do it for a long time and I just haven't done it. And now I feel like, you know what? This is the universe telling me, go ahead and do it. I did learn to roll in a kayak. <laughs> and I went zip lining. Um, a couple weeks apart, actually, my adrenaline was just off the charts. And I also got to um, swim with bioluminescent plankton in Puerto Rico, which is magic. And if you ever have the opportunity to be in Puerto Rico, you have to do it. You swim and the water lights up around you and like, it looks like sparks sort of run down your arm. It's amazing. A lot of my things though I know will involve getting over fears. I have a lot of things that frighten me. I am very anxious. Something that I really want to do as a parent and mother-daughter is go on a road trip across America. This is, I've been talking about this since Paige was little, and she thinks it sounds like the worst idea in the world, but I think she and I in a car driving across the open country is just like, sounds like heaven to me. One of the things that I, I do have on my life list is getting into shape and being able to do 100 push-ups. I'm gonna do it. I really want to drive an 18-wheeler. And I, I don't even have to like, long haul it. Like, I don't even have to have a license. Like, I would do it in an empty parking lot. I just wanna feel what it's like to have that huge steering wheel and drive an 18-wheeler. Another thing that I, I uh, it would be a dream if I could go to the opening ceremonies of a Summer Olympics. I've always dreamed of going to Korea, the mother country. Uh, I haven't ever been to Korea. I have a huge um, number of family that live there and I just think about it all the time. On top of that, my mother is buried there. and I've never been to my mother's grave to pay respects and so that's just this tugging thing that's on my heart I think about all the time. Just making the act of making that list has shifted my whole life um, in a new direction and changed all of my priorities. And so now, of course, I want everyone to make a list. I want you to make a list if you haven't yet. And if you have, or even if you haven't, I wanna know what's on it. So what do you wanna do? A lot of my readers decided to make their own Mighty Life lists. And one of my favorite things to do is read through them because people wanna do such fascinating things. I'm, I love reading other people's life lists though. So anybody who watches this, please, link to your list if you have them because they always give me tons of ideas. I always think like, why didn't I think of that? Like the bioluminescent plankton. I, I didn't know about that before you mentioned it. Now it's like, that sounds amazing. What are the things that you know that you want to do um, with the limited time we all have here? And what are you doing to help make your life better, move in that direction toward your dreams? 
I really can't wait to hear what everybody has to say. So, your life, tell me about your life. Join the Momversation at momversation.com.